what is up guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well so i'm super super excited about this video we have been working on this base for quite some time now i'm not really sure how long we've been working on it but um we had a base previously we were working on it and then somebody came in with a level 1890 dragon and he completely destroyed it and there was no way for us to take that dragon down so um we decided we're just going to start over, start from scratch again and yes, this was the last time we had to start over which I'm super super happy about and um, yes, the base isn't complete so there might be some mistakes or there might be stuff we need to fix and stuff but um, yes, it is, it's, I'm happy with it and yeah, let me show you what the base looks like thanks to Ryan Overclock and Ryan's brother for helping us out on this base Really, really awesome people, and um, let's go and have a look. Alright, so we're not playing PvP or PvE or anything. Okay, we're playing PvE. Um, but uh, yes, we're not playing with other people, so there's no need to like really master the base kind of thing and also we're just learning so i'm super happy and i'm super proud and um yes so here is our house at the bottom we have a tower up here to go and stand and snipe if we need to snipe the animals as you guys can see there are tons of animals out here um so yes if we need to we just stand up on the tower snipe them down and uh go get the meat um we have a bird sitting on this roof i don't know why but uh, yes, let, let me take you guys through a house tour real quick. Okay, so this is the house. It wasn't easy to build, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but the building in this game, it is awesome. But it's also at times frustrating. So yeah, there might be some mistakes or something you guys may spot. But um, yes, I'm pretty, pretty proud of our first base. That ladder is supposed to be gone, but uh, yes. Hmm, <laughs> lucky squad. Alright, so this is our downstairs. This is basically like our living room. Our micro raptors glitched in the air. Nice, nice going there. We've got a fireplace running for charcoal so we can keep that charcoal going. We have a fabricator, we have an industrial forge, um, and then we have a chemistry lab. This is kind of like the kitchen area. And we have a chemistry lab, a fridge, some air cons to keep it cooling out because it gets really hot. Talking about that, let me. Oh, I don't have another outfit. Okay, and then we've got the smithy and we've got some cupboards with all our goods in. Um, and then we go up here, this industrial forge goes up, uh, I think, three floors. So yes, it's now we're on the second floor. So we've got a cooker, we've got some preserving bins, and then Ryan made himself a... What do you call this thing? A vault. There we go. And then we've got an industrial... Uh, I wouldn't say... Yeah, it's an industrial grill. I was going to say cooker, but like, no, that's a cooker as well, that one. Okay, so we also have industrial grinder, which um, really comes in handy if you grind, uh, if you make too many items, like let's say you want to make walls, you just make 100 and if you only need 30, come and put the 70 in here and uh, grind it up and then voila, you've got some, you've got your materials back. Right, this part is annoying, we have to keep um, crouching and as you guys can see, this wall just does not want to place nicely, so um. Yes, we have a little oopsie there, and there's part of the industrial forge, and then if we go up here, we have just a bunk bed. I actually want to put more bunk beds up in here, because, uh, yes, there's four people playing on the server, so, yes, I'd like to get some beds up in here, um, and maybe cupboards so that, like, if you die or something, you can just grab a weapon and run out and go get your loot. Um, and then this is the tower I was talking about, where you can stand and snipe or whatever you need to do or check out what animals you want or I don't know it's a nice little tower alright so that is it for the house I'm super happy about the house um, for my first kind of I wouldn't say it's my first build but it's my first complete build with a bunch of stuff in here and yes we got some benches outside here with some plants growing really really nice I love this part of the garden it looks super super nice we've got a rex head up on the wall there <laughs> Um, okay, and then we've got a, not too fancy, just a generator room where we've got our generator running open. Um, Alright, and then here we've got the theories, their little base, we've got their lights and their laid egg. We're not going to take that. Um, we already got a baby from them, so we're good for now. But we don't want to clog up, what happened was we clogged up with the Rexes, we had like 23 Rexes, and then 
a fly would fly into the space and they would all go for it, so it was quite annoying. So yes, lesson learned, we're not clogging up with animals. <laughs> and then we've got this dude, what is he? I'm not even sure what this guy's name is. A uh, Yati Ren... okay. It's a, it's a flurry and a blurry. A fury and blurry. Okay, there we go. That um, is Overclock's pet. <laughs> And uh, over here we've got, these are our harvesters. I'm not sure that um, the dodos don't harvest so they can come out in the scorpion and this little birdie here. But um, yes, we've got our, I think it's Duty Locus or something. Duty Cirrus, okay, whatever. We've got our stone eaters, we've got our beavers, we've got a monkey, a big monkey, we've got a packy, he also doesn't belong in here. The scorpion and dodos, and I'm not sure what these guys' names are, but um, yeah, we've got those guys. <laughs> so those are our harvesters. Um, eventually, when we've, we've made more builds, we can place our scorpions and get a second scorpion and stuff like that in those buildings. Then we've got a ankler here, which um, apparently he collects metal, I think. Um, but yes, we've got to get him a friend. <clears throat> and then over here we have the kangaroos. These guys are amazing when you want to get across land super quick. <laughs> and we've got a tech parasaur, who looks like an Egyptian. Really, really nice. I love him. And then over here we have... A pretty ugly sore shine. He's not ugly. Are you ugly? No, you're not ugly. We have to get him a friend as well. So yes, that is our little dude. And then we also have a saber tooth in here, which we want to get some more saber teeth. Saber teeth. We want to get some more saber tooth. Um, probably another three, I would suppose, or just get one and then breed with them. I'm not really sure, but um. Yes, that is it for our little little ones, and then we've got a little raptor running around here who is still maturing, and we have a quetzal. Really nice bird. I'm not gonna lie, he's a bit ugly, but yeah, really cool bird, really cool. And then this is our raptor base where our raptors are going to breed and so on. Um, we actually had a ton of raptors. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we had about 15 maybe I'm not really sure but we had quite a few and yeah, they were also if a fly flies in here then they want to eat it So yeah, we had to get rid of a few sadly um, And then over here we have penguins to farm some polymer. We have a moss chops in here I don't know why he's in here I think I put him in here, oh yes, I put him in here so I can come and eat the babies, like there's a few dead, ba dead, dead babies, <laughs> there's a few dead babies in here and um, yes, that is how we get our polymer, I will do a detailed video on that as well for you guys, if you guys would like, here are our dung beetles to get our fertilizer, I really really love the dung beetles, their color is so so amazing, they are so cute and when you pick them up it just looks so, it looks so cute man, look at that. I mean what more could you ask for but um yes those are our poop eaters okay they don't actually eat poop they eat spoiled meat but um yeah you guys get what i'm saying this is a taming pen which is a mistake to build in the base we should have built it outside because uh, if we bring something in there all of them want to eat it so yes we're gonna have to build that outside um and then inside here we have our, our greenhouse with some vegetables growing, some rock carrots, some citronelle and our lemongrass. So yes, it's actually corn, but uh, we'll go with um, lemon, lemongrass, makes no sense, but we'll go with that. So yes, that is our little greenhouse. I would like to make this greenhouse look a little bit bigger, um, to put more stuff in like narco berries and stuff like that, but uh, no big deal. Around the base we do have stuff growing, so which is pretty nice. Um, I have been trying to grow more narco berries and stuff like that, so yeah. This is our monkey pen. I have such an awesome, awesome plan with these monkeys and you guys better stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to do that video for you guys, but um, yes, we have a bunch of monkeys here and then we made this thing so we can throw a few of them in here so they can breed and make more if we need 
and um, yeah, so we still got some monkeys sitting up here. We got a bunch of babies running around, possibly. I definitely do not doubt that. Um, but yes, these monkeys make my day. But uh, are there some dead ones? Um, I'm sure I saw a dead one. There we go. Sure. You guys must look after your babies. I want to get out. <laughs> so yes, I don't really like coming in here. I love the monkeys and everything, but I do not like going in there. It's just chaos, as you guys can hear. All right, and then we've got some tech stegos here. We've got uh, normal stegos here. This one's really, really beautiful with the pink. I really like these two. Beautiful, beautiful. And then our tech stegos, our, their levels is quite, quite nice. Like uh, considering our server levels, they came out really, really nice. And uh, we've got a stegolicious here with 221 level, which is awesome. So. Yes, they have been breeding, making some babies, and these are the babies, the four babies that have come out so far. Are these five? Did I count right? Yeah. Alright, so we got, we got five tech babies. Alright, these guys are really, really awesome. And then over here we have our brontosauruses. Let me show you the brontos. I can't even see their full body in one screen. But um, yes, I think they are both males, to be honest with you guys, which is unfortunate. Not that we want to breed with these guys. Okay, we've got a female over there. Okay, so we've got two females. Um, yes, we do not want to breed with them because they are big, they are slow, and um, we tame them and we do not want to let them go. So we decided we'll just build them a nice little base. And um, yes, let's move over to the Rexes. These are the babies that um, bred like the monkeys. These guys were going insane. We had about, like I said earlier, about 23 babies. I'm not really sure. Not 23 babies, I'd say 23 Rexes. They were all grown up and stuff. And then we decided to keep these five. And then these are the newest um, babies that we have going on here. So we want to level them up and then breed with them. And same with these guys. I think most of these are max level. I think these two are, yeah, these two are quite low, but their color is really, really awesome. So, um, yes, we actually, we didn't have a white Rex. We didn't have a red Rex. We had two normal, like, Rexes like this dude. Um, and then we ended up with this red and white baby over here, Bonnie's Rex. And then uh, we just ended up with another red red one and then we actually caught this white one and this green one and we tamed them so yes hopefully they're gonna make beautiful babies but um yes guys that is our base we do have two megalodons down in the ocean we do not have a base for them yet so if you guys have any ideas on that it would be much appreciated um what else have i missed on this base oh yes the birds the, the center we have our birdies up here Let's have a look. We've got our birdies parked up over there, um, which is really nice. I didn't, I wasn't really sure on what to build for them. I'm not really happy with their base, but you know, at least they have a place to stay. And uh, maybe in due time, I will learn how to make a nice bird thingy for them. Um, but yes, that is our our birdies up there. So you just climb up on the ladder here. We've also got some plants going up on on this roof. I don't think they're growing because they're not getting water yet, which I still need to fix. I need to take water around the garden as well as electricity, but um, yes, these are birdies. Some of them are on the roof and um, let me take you guys into the incubating pen where we actually have a Rex egg about to hatch well, in an hour and 15 minutes. But um, yes, we incubate them here, we let them get some food here, like the Rexes and the birds will take them out immediately, but like the Rexes and stuff like that, we'll leave them in here because the Rexes end up getting stuck in a corner or getting stuck on top of a generator or something like that because they end up getting too big. So yeah, this is our little incubating pen, it's not that little, but um, yes, I really, really like it in here. So yeah, I think that is it now, like officially it. <laughs> this is our base guys i hope you guys enjoyed it we put in a lot of work you guys must get yourself one of these piggies um he heals everybody around him so it's really really nice um <clears throat> but uh yes guys like i said 
this is our base hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next video smash a like if you guys did and uh, subscribe if you're new we've got some more videos coming out soon stay tuned for that monkey video it is going to be absolutely hilarious i promise you it will be worth the wait on that monkey video and uh yes guys from us and the lucky squad the overclock ryan and ryan's brother um thank you guys so so much for helping out on the base we really do appreciate it and uh yes i can't wait to bring you guys some more videos but uh, for now guys i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day cheers